So I'm not going to lie, the last few weeks has been difficult. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to sugarcoat things, but also I'm going to be authentically honest and also try to help you if you, like me, have suffered a traumatic injury to stop you doing the things you love. So four weeks ago, tomorrow, almost four weeks ago, I was cycling at 55 kilometers an hour. I went down and I fractured my collarbone. I broke five ribs, the one of the ribs or multiple ribs, pierced the lung, the lung collapsed, and I was rushed to hospital. And if you haven't seen that video we put together on our YouTube channel, there's a link down below, you can watch that video. I spent five days in hospital, tubes in my side, and a clavicle surgery, and obviously I was in a lot of pain. Uh, obviously I was limited to what I could do. It was a quite humiliating time of my life, getting bathed in bed, being very restricted, and also you know, coming to terms and to peace with the situation. And the fact that I knew that I wouldn't be able to do the things I loved for so long, which is, physically push my body and my mind. I spent five days in hospital. I came out of hospital. Within a few days, I was back in our space here, helping people, coaching people. And we documented that as well in another recording, which again, will be shared in the link below. Um, but I was in a sling and I was very restricted, which I have been for the last four months, not just physically, not able to perform and to push myself with weights or any form of activity, but also academically. I was on medication and it affected my mindset. I wasn't able to think, I wasn't able to strategize. I wasn't able to type much because I had one hand, but I was doing all these things. And honestly, I felt very frustrated. I felt very depressed on times, um, which I allowed myself to feel and why that is important for me to express, because if you've ever been in a position where things have been taken from you, you have to allow yourself to feel these emotions that come with it. I've been lucky enough to spend some, a lot of time with a good friend of mine, Mark Corbin, who is 2012 Olympic, Paralympic champion, gold medalist, and he talked about the Cobra Awesome theory going through the four phases of trauma. And the first one is apprehension or denial. The second phase is frustration, anger. The third is depression. And then the fourth is acceptance. And if you don't accept, you stay in the denial phase. And that is reliving one of these other phases that could be apprehension, frustration, or depression. So not only did I quickly get through the fact of the matter and I quickly accepted it, I still allowed myself to feel apprehensive, to feel frustrated, to feel depressed and down so then I can move forward and finally accept, which I've done. What I found being very useful in the last few weeks is looking at all the positives that can come out of any situation. Yes, I'm unable to use my arm. Yes, I'm unable to go out and work out. Yes, I'm unable to perform at my best. But what I can do is I can spend more time with my family. What I can do is I can take a little bit of a physical and mental break out from 
my normal day-to-day -day stress. What I can do is get back to doing the things that I like to do, but due to lack of available time, free time I should say, I've not been doing them. And one of them things is actually reading. I love to read. And I love to read whilst I do exercise. You know, when I was bodybuilding, bodybuilding champion for many years, I do a lot of cardio, sometimes up to three hours a day. I've been doing a lot of reading. I get through so many books because it'd be a moderate paced cardio. I could sit down, I could just pedal for an hour, a couple of times a day if need be, and I could read. Now, obviously, since I got into cycling and I started getting a little bit more competitive and cycling outdoors, I haven't been able to read many books, but what I've done is listen to audiobooks and listen to podcasts, but it's not the same. So the last two weeks, I've been back in the gym and I've been able to go onto the stationary bike and start to exercise at a very low intensity pace, but I've been able to read and it's been very profound. I've been able to uptake both knowledge and improve my fitness, which is fantastic. Now there's one thing that I would suggest you do is look for the positive in every situation and also you know if you are going to use material whether that be audio box podcast youtube whatever it is you listen to or if you're reading material read things that are going to spike more positivity and more inspiration in you because that's going to help you if you're a religious person read your scriptures go back to these that's going to allow you to have more gratitude and become more at peace with any situation that life throws the good news is four weeks have passed and a week ago the arms started feeling more mobile so I knew the recovery was going very well. I went back to the doctors on Thursday of this week, it's Saturday today, and I had an x-ray back on the area that I had the pins and the plates and I had an x-ray on the ribs where the ribs were broken. So the good news is the clavicle is healed, obviously it's still in the process. But the doctor, the, the surgeon told me I could take off the sling and start some mobility work and start some physiotherapy work, which is fantastic. He did, however, suggest that I don't do any weight training for the upper body and I avoid picking up things with this area, you know, heavier things more than a couple of kilos because of the, the injury I have in the, the ribs. You know, the ribs, I still got five broken ribs. They take in time and anything that puts too much strenuous force in this area may kind of force them to to prolong the healing i should say that is one of the reasons why we decided not to go back home this year it would have been the first time in five years that we went home for christmas we obviously have a newborn son he's six months old as i mentioned and we wanted to introduce him to the family and because of the situation i've been in we've not been able to travel, especially you knowing that we go back to Wales and the weather's cold and the probability of catching a cold is high. If I cough and sneeze, then the ribs are gonna take even longer. So again, it's a very negative thought and feeling that comes along with that. But the positive side of it is, we had a fantastic Christmas. It was calm, it was quiet. We were, it was our boys' first Christmas. It was very good. I wasn't doing much working out apart from a little bit in the, the gym on the bike. I was able to really come to peace and take some time out and spend it with the family. So that is all good news. Like I said, the ribs are still healing. That is gonna take some time. I start physiotherapy next week, which I'm really excited about. I can document that as well. And I'm excited to get back on the bike. I've got a goal at the end of this month coming. It's the 31st of January, uh, December today, the first tomorrow. On the 22nd of December, we've got the Spinney's Build Up 4, which is an 85 kilometer race. And I'm doing it, I'm signed up for it. I'm not backing out. And that will probably be my first time back on the bike outdoors. I will, however, tomorrow connect my bike my road bike to my indoor trainer and start pulling in the miles indoors and gradually see how I feel with my my position on the bike but I believe that the 22nd is probably going to be my first ride out I'm going to go probably last I'm not going to be competitive I'm not going to try to race I'm not going to try to win although the last couple of races I've had I've you know achieved a lot considering I've only been racing for or riding for one year I was 12th in my age group and eight, 68th 
out of, I think, over a thousand people in the entire event on the last event. But this time I just want to go out, I just want to finish the race and I know there's some psychological trauma that I would have experienced from the accident itself. So I will put in some miles on the indoor bike, I will get out and I will encourage anybody that's had some trauma or have some injury to get back as soon as you can. The situation reoccurring is going to stop you from ever trying to do things again. That could be a good thing in some sense, but if you like me, you like to physically push, I know that that fear is going to be there and I'm going to have to get over them. I mentioned this many times, the fear is like a wave and the faster you get over the other side of the wave, the, the, the sooner you get to calmness. So I'm looking forward to the 22nd of January when I do my first outdoor cycle and then in February again for the Spinney's main event, which is 94 kilometers in Dubai. Again, steady pace, probably at the end of the backpack and then March the 18th, I'm going to be cycling 230 kilometers from Sharjah to Fajira and probably eight to 10 hours in the saddle. Again, I've committed for that. I'm doing it. I'm not going to back away from it. I can't see any reason to stop me. By that time, I'm going to be fully healed in the ribs unless I fall over or unless something really happens, which I hope it doesn't of course, and if it does, there'll be another opportunity to learn from and to deal with. I'm, I'm stripped back to basics. I've lost a couple of kilos. I haven't trained up a body for a, a month. Another month for not being able to train up a body is gonna significantly affect the muscle mass that I put on for the last 20 years. And it, 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 I don't know, it is demoralizing in a way because that is something I built. But at the same time, like I said, looking for positive, outcomes. I'm excited because I'm going to be a smaller version of myself and that means when I'm on the bike things are going to be more easier. I'm going to be carrying less weight. My circumference, my diameter is going to be smaller so I'm going to be more aerodynamic and I'm really excited for the transformation even of the deterioration the muscle will bring, the positive outcomes I'll experience from that and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. I got my helmet here, which I purchased around six weeks ago. It's very, you know, strong and, and supportive. And luckily I wore this helmet because the helmet has a huge crack in the back of it and it's ruined. I can't no longer use it, I have to buy a new one. I started realizing there was pain in other places. Like I did have a lump in my head I noticed about a week after the like uh, after the surgery and it was quite painful so I definitely must have had a big impact on the floor. I, I, I had a lot of grazes and bruises all over my body and uh, my hip there's, there's something in my hip that is just bruised internally. My coccyx I'm starting to feel now um, it's very tender because now obviously I'm, I'm moving about a lot more I'm sitting in different positions because I can. Whereas previously I was just laying in one place and, and very minimum movement. But like I said, this is, all, this is all opportunities to work on. So that's going to allow me when I see my physiotherapist next week to do a full body MOT, not just on these areas. Take a full look at me, make sure I'm actively. And like I said, because I'm taking my time in the next couple of weeks, because I have to, to get back to, to full capacity my body will recover and anything I need to do, not only for this area, but for my entire body and my mind, I can put into preparation. So I'm a stronger, fitter, better version of myself. So that's it for me, a little update. I'll do these at least once a month. I think the next one we do um, will definitely be another documentation of my exercises and definitely the first time I get back out on the bike. If you're new to this channel, subscribe below. If you've had any injuries, maybe injuries during cycling or other sporting activities, comment below. I'm interested to know what that injury was and how you overcome that physically and psychologically. Christian Williams, Global Transformation Coach. Hashtag Bow Mode.